Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Uh, now, if you're in the market for a new computer, and that could be a desktop, laptop, whatever type computer, you've probably noticed that the option now uh, across a lot of computers is the SSD hard drive or solid state hard drive is what that uh, solid state disk is what it stands for. Now, what is the advantage of a solid state SSD drive over a conventional hard drive such as a 5400 RPM or 7200 RPM drive? Well, since SSD is just now becoming widely adopted, uh, when it first came out it was extremely cost prohibitive. Uh, now the price is starting to, to uh, get competitive. However, where we are now with SSD is that you're looking at for the same price point, let's just give an example here, maybe 128 gigabyte SSD in a system versus a one or two terabyte standard 2400, uh, 5400 or 7200 RPM hard drive. So looking at it side by side from a disk space perspective, one might assume that, oh, well, that's a no-brainer. I'm going to go with the traditional hard drive because I'm going to get more space for my money. Well, that's true to some degree. And what a lot of people don't realize with SSD, if you've used iPhone, iPad, Android, Android tablet, you notice when you turn those devices on and when, you're, when you power them on and power them off, it's almost, it's, it's somewhat instantaneous. And everything seems to be more responsive. And the reason being is that those devices are powered by uh, S small SSD drives. It's, it's, mem it's not mechanical because when you're dealing with a traditional hard drive, it's got that platter on the inside of it. So it's got this little thing that's reading and writing. And that's when you're using a computer, a desktop computer, a laptop computer, it has a standard hard drive in it. You hear that, nah, 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 the click, 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 like that noise over and over when you open a program and you turn it on. And the action of that uh, thing reading the platter in the hard drive results in slower performance. So my professional opinion, and keep in mind, I've been building computers and upgrading computers for over 30 years. Yeah, I'm pretty much a computer dork. But my personal, professional opinion at this point in time is to definitely go SSD. However, go SSD, but don't go all out and say, oh, you know what, I'm going to spend a few hundred or a few thousand dollars extra to get the super duper 512 gigabyte or whatever SSD drive. No. What I suggest, and this is from an Apple perspective, and the same can be applicable to Windows PCs. That's fine. What I would suggest is just going with it about 128 gig SSD. Whether you're running Mac OS 10 or you're running uh, Microsoft Windows 7 or Windows 8 for that matter, the OS, the operating system, is going to be installed on that SSD drive. Because when you boot the computer, when you're interacting with the computer, it's that SSD that's going to enhance overall system performance. Now sure, that's not going to leave a lot of room for your files, but that's not a problem. What you can do for all of your uh, documents and whatnot that you save, uh, you can connect an external drive, you can connect a, uh, you know, a standard uh, USB 3.0 external drive. If you're on a Mac, maybe use a Thunderbolt external drive. So you're able to get that additional storage as needed, but your operating system is still running off of the solid state drive. Because you want your operating, nowadays you want your operating system running on a solid state SSD drive because that's what's going to give you the overall performance increase. Because you don't have the operating system dependent upon that little thing reading the platter to load and close the applications. So you you got an SSD which is a lot more instantaneous. That's just my opinion. Feel free to share this video with others. And I hope that if you're considering a new computer that this video helps you to make the decision and you know, SSDs, in my opinion, the best choice. So uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, feel free to subscribe. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day.